Let's get right to it. Most of you know my background. I've been a DBA for most of my career. I've worked on BI and machine learning projects for five years, and I'm currently doing a data engineering contract. So what roles can I do and why? How did I move from being a SQL Server DBA to a machine learning engineer and then to a data engineering project? This does get a little confusing. I've spent most of my career as a production SQL Server DBA. That means I'm qualified for just about any SQL Server DBA role. That's easy enough. Now, this is the confusing part. So, as a SQL Server DBA, could I be a MySQL or Postgres DBA? Yeah, but not very well. There are a ton of similarities between vendor platforms, and there are a ton of differences. The reverse is also true. A MySQL DBA or a Postgres DBA would suck as a SQL Server DBA. SQL Server is a different animal for a few reasons, mostly because of the free add-ons. Most SQL Server DBA jobs expect you to be able to work with these add-ons. Let's go ahead and take a look at a BI role to see what I mean. Notice the SSIS and SSRS and SSAS. There are a lot of tools that require skills that are outside core DBA skills. SSIS stands for SQL Server Integration Services, and it's an ETL tool that's quite advanced. It's not something you just pick up. It takes quite a bit of time to learn it, and even more time to learn how to deploy the packages to production successfully. SSRS is a reporting tool that sucks, but because it's free, companies still use it, and those companies expect their SQL Server DBAs to know it. I hate this tool so much, I won't take roles where it's required. So, if the DBA role is that specialized, how did I get hired as a machine learning engineer from a DBA? Before machine learning and data science came along, DBAs and developers were doing all the work within BI. Now, BI stands for Business Intelligence. All BI projects are essentially data mining projects. These projects are very, very similar to machine learning engineering projects. As a matter of fact, there are still many BI jobs around. Here's an example we saw earlier. Notice all the tools you'll need, SSIS, SSRS, Power BI, etc. The job is really a data analyst role with data analytics. You'll be using another tool called SSAS to do the data mining. All right, let's circle back around. I was able to move to machine learning because the only thing I really needed to learn was modeling and some training in applied statistics. All right, here it comes again. The hard part about real world machine learning isn't the modeling, it's working with real world data. Okay, then how did I move to a role in data engineering? I've been working with SQL for decades and the difference between one vendor SQL and another vendor SQL is minimal. The data engineering role required me to move data from SQL Server, which is my wheelhouse, to Snowflake, a new data warehouse in the cloud. So, for the data engineering role, the only thing I had to learn was Snowflake. Now, this is a bigger ask than you would think because Snowflake's a complicated product. However, doing Snowflake administration is very similar to doing transactional database administration. If you don't know what the difference is between databases, I'll put a link down below to a video explaining it. I promise if you learn SQL, you'll have skills you'll need time and time again with data in the real world. If you can massage real world data, there are a lot of jobs out there for you and some jobs that probably haven't been created yet. Snowflake's a new product. Ten years ago, there weren't any Snowflake administrators or developers because the product didn't exist. Learn SQL and learn it well. You'll thank me later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.